Hi there, my name is Crystal Streeter, consultant ID 117290. I'm just gonna do just a quick video on pirate ship. As you can see right here, here is pirate ship. So it is just pirateship.com, okay, pirateship.com. And if you click on it, you guys, you can create a free account, see that? You can create a free account and it also gives you a tutorial down here number one choice for startups and small businesses okay so you can um review it yourself but i moved from stamps.com to um pirate ship because there is no fees okay um with stamps.com you had to pay a fee um to be a member and then you also had to add funds into your account for your um, for your printing for your uh, packages okay so you create a few a free account but I already have an account so let's just log me in and let's just uh, get started real quick all right so we're gonna create what is called a single label so here is a single label and it says right here um, who you want to ship it to um, it has a phone number the name the company is optional the address apartment unit suite etc and then the city state zip code okay it also has my information here for my boutique and it has my saved packages this is amazing okay I'm going to show you how to save your packaging um, as well so to save your packaging to get you all started you're going to go to settings and in settings you're going to go to where you see saved packages i mean this is dummy proof you guys all right so in saved packages it has um i have a bubble mailer that is black i have a bubble mailer that's pink a small box I have a teal package I have a white bubble mailer I mean it's dummy proof okay if I need to edit any of those dimensions I can but let's go in here and edit the teal package and I'm going to show you what happens this all goes with adding a new um, package okay and I named it myself teal package up, up at the top and that's the default um, I can set it as a default if I want it to um, it doesn't need to be but there it is right there the dimensions are here it's a nine by six and if you um, wherever you get your packaging from you could possibly um, find the dimensions on your Amazon uh, dot com order sheet and you can find the dimensions there all right and you can just save the package down here at the bottom um, when you are done okay if it is a bubble mailer you also have all these different other kind of boxes and packaging as well that you can save on your list okay so that's all done i need to save that because i did change um it and did not make it as a default anymore all right so for instance if you want to go over here and ship we're just going to click on ship we're going to click on single okay so i'm going to just enter um, a person's name and um let's see oops that says phone number <laughs> so i'm going to enter a person's name and see does this person pop up see that person did not pop up because that person is not in my list so i have two right here for this particular person i know this person very well and everything pops up there and it's already saved now if that person's address or email wasn't saved um i would have to enter it manually now or just copy and paste it from um, if you're using PayPal, if you're using Square, you can copy and paste it into this system. Now, the email is optional, but you want to have the email for what? For your tracking purposes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, you're going to go on down here and it's going to ship from my boutique. Um, you set that up in your um, setup when you first start. And um, now you want to go to your packaging. Okay it says don't use save packaging but you're going to click on it because these are my save packaging let's use um a small p 
pink bubble mailer. Now you want to modify it because guess what? When I weighed it, it is not that size, okay? It is not that same weight. So the weight is down here, but the length and the width is the same. The pounds and the ounces are different now. Maybe the ounces are three. So I'm going to put in three and then I'm going to click on get rate okay it's not hazardous it's not any custom forms um, update save packages nada so let's go to get rates and it's going to show me how much it's going to cost to ship this item to miss Regina all right it's going to say one to three days first class packaging two dollars and 66 cent okay and it shows you how much you save if you want to use this type of packaging if not you have options ladies and gentlemen there are your options right there but it's just a small package it has a ship date you can change that if you want it also have to email the recipient the time and the date that this was printed and I can do what buy the label and it's going to go it's going it's only going to deduct two dollars and sixty six cent from my account balance okay so it's there all right if there's anything that I need to change on this label just hit previous step but if there's not just go ahead and click buy label okay when you hit buy label it's going to take you to another screen okay buy label it's going to go to another screen and then it's ready to print okay and it has the shipment details that are right there all right so there you have it ladies and gentlemen a quick setup for pirate ship um, dot com very very simple very easy very cheap it will save you a ton of money and i encourage everyone to take a look at it do the tutorial and i hope that my short tutorial helped you out as well have a great day everybody bye